Good morning students. Welcome to our maths class. In the last class we have seen factorization. What are the types of factorization? First one is by taking common out the common factor from each term. Okay. By taking out the common binomial from each term. Okay. Then the third one is factorization by grouping. The fourth one is factorization using identities. And the fifth one is factorization of the expression. That expression is ax square plus bx plus c. Okay. We shall see the example. First one. p per 5 q square plus 24 p cube q minus 128 q cube divided by 6 cube. We have to divide each term by 6 cube. Okay. 3 2s are 6 isn't it? Yes. 6 2s are 12 and 4 2s are 8. 64. Q, here 3 q's. 1 q cancel remaining 2 q's. Okay. 64 by 3 q, q square. So, p per 5 q by 6 plus 4 p q minus 64 q square by 3. So the answer is p power 5 q by 6 plus 4 p cube minus 64 q square by 3. Expand 98 square using a identity. You have to expand this using identity. Simple way means 98 into 98 you have to multiply and say. But using identity how did you do this? Yes, 100 minus 2 the whole square. So, which formula, which identity we can use here? Yes, a minus b the whole square. a minus b the whole square you can use. The answer is a square minus 2ab plus b square. Okay. Then, here a is 100. Then b is equal to 2. Now, a square 100 minus 2 the whole square is equal to 100 square minus 2 into a is 100 and b is 2 plus 2 square. Okay. Now, it will become as 4 zeros that is 10,000. Okay. Minus 2 twos are 4. 4 into 100, 400 plus 4. Now, 10,000 minus 400 becomes as 9,600. Isn't it? Plus 4. So, the answer for 98 square is equal to 96,004. The next sum, 3x the whole square minus 5 square. Here which formula you can use? Yes, a square minus b square. Here a is equal to 3x. b is equal to 5. a square minus b, x, b square is a plus b into a minus b. Yes. Now we can substitute in the formula. 3x the whole square minus 5 square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Okay. The next one. For a 7m into m minus 5. Plus 1 into 5 minus m. Okay. Now. 7m. Into m minus 5. You make this also m minus 5. If you multiply 1 minus. Minus 1 you take outside. Then it will come as minus 5. Plus m. So m minus 5. It will come also. Okay. Then we can take m minus 5 common. Then remaining is 7m minus 1. We shall see the miscellaneous practice problems. That is exercise 3.5. Okay. The cost of a notebook is rupees 10ab. If Babu has rupees 5 
a square b plus 20 ab square plus 40 ab then how many notebooks can he buy solution cost of one notebook is rupees 10 ab number of notebooks bought for rupees 5a square b plus 20 ab square plus 40 ab is equal to total amount this is the total amount he have divided by cost of one notebook so 5a square b plus 20 ab square plus 40 ab divided by 10 ab you split this 10 ab to each term so 5a square b by 10 ab plus 20 ab square by 10 ab plus 40 ab by 10 ab okay then you can cancel b b okay then a is a power 2 minus 1 here 1 so 2 minus 1 here a a gets cancel 0 0 gets cancel 2 b here 1 we have so 2 minus 1 plus here also cancel a a gets cancel b b gets cancel 4 so number of answer is number of notebooks he can buy with the money he have is is equal to 1 by 2a plus 2b plus 4 this much notebooks he can buy okay then fifth sum factorize 7y square minus 19y minus 6 solution it is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c isn't it okay we know a is equal to 7 then b is equal to minus 19 c is equal to minus 6 now product is a into 6 that is minus 42 then sum is b minus 19 so minus 42 here minus 19 okay we can split this 42 to uh, many way that is uh, 6 sevens are 42 then you add and see you, you won't get the 19 is it so we have to take 21 two sir 21 two sir so here you have minus so bigger number sign must be minus Minus twenty one plus two is minus nineteen, isn't it? So we have to split this minus nineteen y to minus twenty one y plus two y. Okay. Now take seven y. Here in twenty one also we have one seven. So here one y. Here we can take one y. So seven y. Remaining here is y. Remaining here is minus three plus two. Take common outside y. Minus three, the okay, three two so six two we are taken common. So here what six six uh, y minus three here y minus three you can take y minus three common outside. So y minus three into seven y plus two. So the answer is y minus three into seven y plus two. Challenge problems sixth problem. We shall read the problem first. A contractor uses expression four x square plus eleven x plus six to determine the amount of wire to order when wiring a house. If the expression comes from multiplying a number of rooms times the number of outlets, and he knows the number of rooms to be x plus two. Find the number of outlets in terms of x. Hint: They are given. Factorize four x square plus eleven x plus six. Okay. You have to divide the solution. Number of rooms we know that is given x plus two. Number of room into number of outlets equal to amount of wire. Okay. Now we know the number of room, but we don't know the number of outlets. The number of wire we know that is amount of wire is four x square plus eleven x plus six. So to find this, you bring this down here. Then we have to divide. Before that, you have to factorize this term. You know to factorize is in the form of a x square plus b x plus c. Here a is four, b is eleven, and c is six. Then take when you have to multiply, you have to get a into c that is twenty four. Okay, sum. We have to get eleven. Okay, so you see, twenty-four is in eight threes are twenty-four. You add and see eight and three. 
yes, 11 will come. Isn't it? So, you split this 4x square in 11x into 8x and 3x. 4x square plus 8x plus 3x plus 6. Now, 4x take 4x outside. Remaining is x. Here, remaining is 2. Plus 3 into x plus 2. Okay. Now, x plus 2 take common outside. 4 x is remaining here. Here remaining is 3. So, number of outlets is equal to here substitute here as x plus 2 and 4 x plus 3. Now, x plus 2 x plus 2 gets cancelled. Remaining is 4 x plus 3. So, number of outlets is equal to 4 x plus 3. Here the seventh problem. A machine uses the expression x square plus 6x plus 8 to represent the area of the floor of a room. If the decides that the length of the room will be represented by x plus 4, what will be the width of the room be in terms of x? Okay, we have to find the width of the room. Seventh problem, solution. Length of the room is equal to x plus 4. Okay, here the room is in the shape of rectangle. Here the length is x plus 4. Breadth you have to find. Okay. And also they are given the area. Area is x square plus 6x plus 8. Okay. You have to find the length. Area of the room is length into breadth. Is equal to x square plus 6x plus 8. Then you have to write length as x plus 4 and breadth as b. Then bring down this length. Okay. Bring down the length down. So breadth is equal to x square plus 6x plus 8 is by x plus 4. Now you solve this. Factorize. You have to factorize this. That is you have, uh, you have to multiply. If you multiply you have to get 8. Then add 6. So 4 2s are 8. We know this isn't it. If you add and see 4 plus 2 is 6. Yes. Then you split the 6x to 4x and 2x. So take x common. Remaining here is x. Here is 4. Plus 2 common. Here x plus 4. Okay. Now x plus 4 common. x plus 4 into x plus 2. So b is equal to. Substitute in this. x plus 4 into x plus 2. 4 x plus 4 x plus 4 gets cancelled. So the breadth is x plus 2. That is the answer is width of the wire is x plus 2. Eighth one. Find the missing term y square minus dash x plus 56 is equal to x plus 7 into y plus dash. Okay. Here is the missing letters you have to write. Okay. Solution. We have x plus a into x plus b formula. Is it is the identity we are using here. That is x square plus a plus b into x plus a b. Okay. Now, take the product. Here 1. Product is 1 into 56 is 56. A into C. Okay. Then is equal to 7 into 8. Now, sum is B. That we don't know. We have to find. Right. 7 into 8. 56 is 7 they are given. 7 8s or 56 we know, isn't it? So we are writing as 7 into 8. So we can split this dash x as 7x and 8x. Okay. So y square plus 7x plus 8x plus 56. Okay. We can take y common outside, remaining 1y. Here remaining is 7. Here take 8 outside, x plus 7. Here 8 we have taken common outside. So y square plus 15x plus 56. This is the answer. It's equal to y plus 7 into y plus 8. In this uh, place of uh, missing. Here 15 is missing. Here 8 is missing. Okay. So the answer is 15 and 8. Then you shall see the Ninth problem. Find 16 p power 4 minus 1. First you take LCM for 16. 2, 8, uh, 16. 
4 twos are 8 then 2 twos are 4 again 2 1 times so 16 is 2 power 4 isn't it so 2p we can write as p power 4 also we can write 2 power 4 so we can take common 2p the whole power 4 we can take okay minus 1 power 4 we can take how many times you multiply 1 means it will come now 1 same so then we can apply the formula a square minus b square that is a plus b into a minus b so we can split this uh, 4 to square so 2p the whole square the whole square you can write up yes you can write minus 1 square the whole square also you can write okay now you apply the form here a is 2p square okay and then b is 1 sorry 1 square you can take 1 square also okay so here i have to write so take a plus b into a minus b so a is 2p the whole square plus 1 the whole square into 2p the whole square minus 1 square have you understood we have split the 2p square, the whole square, the whole square minus 1 square as like this. Here, see here, this also can split into 2 using the identity. This is 2p the whole square minus 1 square. Here also is a square minus b square is here. a is 2p. Here the a is 2p. Then b is 1 now we can split this as 2p plus 1 into 2p minus 1. Okay. This we cannot split this uh, using identity. Okay. We can uh, keep that is also apply this square to 2. It will come as 4p square plus 1 square is 1. So the answer is 16p power 4 minus 1 is equal to 4p square plus 1 into 2p plus 1 into 2p minus 1 have you understood 10th problem factorize 3x cube minus 45x square y plus 225x y square minus 375y cube see here this is in the formula a minus b the whole cube formula what is the formula for that a cube minus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square minus b cube minus b cube this is the formula we know isn't it okay now here one 3 is extra See here, all the numbers are divisible by 3. 3, here 15 3s are, here 21 7 times, then remainder 1 15 5 times. So, this also divisible by 3. Then, here 175, see here 1 times, here 2 times, remaining 1 and 5 times. This also divisible by 3. We can take 3 common outside. Okay, from this, we are taking 3 common outside. So, x cube minus 15 3s are 45. So, we have taken the 3 outside. Then here we have said no, 7 times, then remainder 1, 5 times. 75 3s are 225. So, you are taking 3 outside and keeping 75 inside. Then here 1 times 3, then 2 times 6, remainder 1, 5 times 15. So, 125 y cube. Okay. So, now. We can write this 125 as 5y the whole cube. 5 5s are 25, 25 5s are 125. 5y the whole cube we can write here. We know here as a is equal to x, x cube here and b is equal to 5y. Okay. Now you are substituting 3 into x square, x square into b, b is 5y. 3a square b plus 3a b square a is x and b square is 5y okay. minus 
b cube we have so so multiply and see 3 5 is 15 x square y then here multiply 5 5 is 25 25 3 is 75 so 75 x y square we have minus 5 y the whole cube that is 125 5 5 is 25 25 5 is 125 so we can write this as x minus 5 y the whole cube Okay, so, the answer is 3 into x minus 5y the whole cube. Thank you. Have a nice day.